Hello everyone, Rock AP here, and today we're taking a little special video where we're looking at foundry missions. Why? Because they're getting rid of foundry missions in Star Trek Online. So I figure let's preserve their, some of their memories, some of the good ones' memories, which aren't just made for farming. And the first one I've chosen, as it's quite high on the list, 404 Error Admiral Not Found. It sounded like a pretty good one. So, without further ado, I'll probably do maybe 5 or 10 of these. It depends if they get any views or not. Fleet Admiral Colin, that's me. You ordered to proceed to the Ro Geminorum system, the third planet, a gas giant. Undergo an interesting outgassing phase, and the Federation Exploration Division would like to know more about this phenomenon and why it is occurring to Ro Geminorum 3. It is in the Aldebaran sector of the Eta Eridani region. Please make a courtesy stop at Deep Space K7 en route to your assignment. A sentient computer seconded, seconded, I guess, from Memory Prime Pathfinder 16 has been placed aboard the USS Lil Giant to help with the analysis. Lil Giant is my ship. You can't see it. Earth is in the way. Get out the way, Earth. Now, if you're looking at me thinking, what the heck is a foundry mission? Why are we doing this? Well, the issue here is foundry missions are missions made by people like you and me, which anyone can do if you have the time and the ability to make a good story. But because the system is so old and outdated, Cryptic have decided we can't do this anymore. We're closing it down. So there we have it. They haven't got the developers, I guess. Maybe the code is so old and broken, if they do touch it, they could ruin the game in ways that we can't even imagine. But that's all it takes in games like this. One little error in the zeros and ones, and blammo, you've destroyed the whole game. So this is just getting rid of it. And they're doing the same with their other game, which is Neverwinter Nights Online or something. Captain's Log. We're approaching the Ro Geminorum system to investigate a series of gaseous anomalies. While I know it's important to Starfleet's scientific mandate, I think it's a very short time that I and the crew will be tired of the phrase, a gaseous anomaly. You get that path, 16? I find the elements of Data Well take perverse pleasure in making meaningless data points, which in the end simply clog up the Federation computer network. We pathfinders have noticed. Sometimes, is it ever been detrimental to elements of data well? For instance, Kevin James Kirk had elements of his log, relatively meaningless to his mission at hand, and inflammatory by nature, used against him in a trial shortly after the destruction of Praxis. The entry in comparison is quite banal, and inoffensive by comparison. Oh, let's do it. Let's take us into a standard orbit. Oh, I like how it looks like we're speeding. Speeding along, the fake trickery, you know, like we're going super fast. Ooh, it just popped into existence. It's pretty cool. Turn that off. Let's go. Engineering reports green light, sir. Whatever's causing the phenomenon is having no effect on the ship. Always nice not to have to worry about the warp core exploding. Take us to the nearest jet of gas and we'll get this sorted. I think it's over here. I'm gonna scan. Oh. Consistent with the planet's atmosphere, but there's also some kind of weird particles in trace amounts. They have no place at all in the system. It's a boring star and doesn't do anything as interesting as spit out. Methogenic particles. You can just make up your own thing. That's the great thing about these kind of story types. Too bad they just couldn't implement them well enough. Maybe they'll bring them back. Maybe they'll make the good ones, like this mission, official. There's even higher concentration of particles here. It's a lot less like a natural phenomenon. What? Or at least not like one we've ever encountered. However, we're still at a loss determining the exact mechanisms behind this event. Should we keep scanning? 
Let's be familiar with the process. We don't know what's happening here. Let's go to the next anomaly. A big spike in both tachyons and chromatic particles from this gas outcropping 500 kilometers into the planet. Seems to be definitive evidence that there's some sort of recent event here. I wonder what we have to do. We still need more detail, but since this is a gas giant, we can make a preliminary speculation of a very recent, as in the last few weeks, no more than two months. It could be an ongoing event. <gasps> Admiral Glinder on Subspace Channel 2. Hang on, did a Welsh person make this? Because that is part of Wrexham Glinder University. Put them on. Sorry to interrupt your mission. Someone's come up and your ship's the only one in position to help. Retrofitted a captured Tholian recluse ca class carrier. Jesus, these things are hard to say. We commissioned as the USS Cavatica. We're putting it through its paces in the caster system, thinking that range was secure. However, the Tholians had other ideas. They wouldn't want us to tinker with their ships. Captain Pfeiffer? I actually spat my computer then. Has moved the Cavatica into an asteroid. And the Tholians have surrounded them. Their, inst their intent is obviously to recapture, not to destroy. Oh. Number of selection. Tell me while I was at the Academy. Co Altered competitive at the Academy. It's multiple choice. That's pretty cool. But any personal feelings aside. Let's engage. To caster. Man, that was a lot of reading. A lot of jiggly words put together making difficult sentences. But that's part of the spirit of Star Trek. Making up things, saying what you want. Here we go. In the little giant. Approaching caster. Ah, three. We'd like an overview of the caster system. Nah. All hands, battle stations. Oh, there it goes again with this moving fast particles. I hope I get to blow stuff up. That's my favourite part. Almost in the circle. Oh, there we go. The oh, man. I like how it makes you feel like you're in warp because it just pops out. That's pretty cool. What's the situation? Several groups of Tholian ships. They're reluctant to destroy it. What about the ship itself? Still in her last reported position. And she's been boarded. Off we go. <gasps> There's an enemy. Well, all I can say to you, Mr. Enemy, is goodbye. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, get off me, webs! That's one down. Eat lasers, you sons of bitches. Man, I've not played this in ages. Luckily for me, my character is pretty darn good. He rockets! There you go. So, job done. We're going to go to the Cavitica. Comrade has been damaged. Let's use some kind of laser? We've got two choices. Affirmative. I've heard good things about you. The little giant has a good reputation with Starfleet. I'm glad they sent someone of your caliber. Oh, thanks, mate. Things have been a bit dicey over here. Tholians have several squads over here, tearing up the ship. Do they do too much damage? 
then basically everybody's doomed. Let's head over, troops. Let's go beat them up. Let's go show them what's what, guys. Commander Ralph, you take the lead. Here we go, we've started. Look how badass my character is. She got an eye patch. Let's speak to this guy. Oh, transponder chief. Thank you for coming to your assistance so quickly. Let's go. Let's go find Captain Pfeiffer. What's up? The big old room you got going on here. Pfeiffer? Oh, that's how I said it. Your ex suggests that you have no worries for my part. Oh, we'll go to engineering. Who are you? Lieutenant Mira. Can't believe the Tholias destroyed both the Joel and the Denver. Man. Carry on, Lieutenant. How about you, Commander Sinegage? Something you need to know? Oh, background information about places, characters, and inspiration for the story. That's pretty awesome. So, the actual places were all actual stars. The original plan was to start out at Alderboran, but Cryptic had no door there to do it. So we used Celestia in front of a nearby star and had to make you have a courtesy stop at K7. <gasps> this had to attack it! Whoa, that's a lot of enemies! Let's get crouching. Luckily I got all the space magic on me. Whoa, look at that purple stuff. What's happening? Oh, I gotta go over here. Why am I walking like I shit myself? Oh, I figured it out. Let's kill these bad boys. With space magic. Whoa, rolled forward. What is my button to change weapon? Oh, there it is. What have I got as a secondary weapon? The neck cool gun? They've changed. Let's change the look of that. Right. Let's do the other machine. Let's do the other machine. There we go. An overload in the conduit. Damn it, Captain. We have to go back? Hey, I was told to speak to you. Sending teams to patch up systems now that engineering's safe. The Tholians are moving in. You have to stop the Tholians so my crews can get to their ships. You have to assist with the flight ops as we move people around. A lot are down, injured or dead. I know your participation in this battle. However, Colin. I think I said no when I should have said honour. Let's just book our passage. Wait. Let's not book our passage to the Blackfeet. Jesus. Trying to get us all killed. They can't kill me. I'm Commander Colin? Admiral Colin? Does it sound like I'm saying colon? I got speedy boots. It turns my feet into ice so I can slip around. Blam! I don't want them on all the time. Hey! They're coming from the right side of the hangar doors. Let's go kick some ass. There they are. Man. I'll always enjoy what happens there. Blam! We did it! I feel like there should be more. It's not a big one. They're venting the heat into here. Expanding gas cools as it exits compression. That's why we have a bit of time. Oh, thermodynamics and fluid dynamics. I feel like that's probably true. In some odd readings from actual Tholian structures. Very, very strange. Before you return to the little giant, can you have a look over it? Everyone else is working to get their Kavitika underway. 
So here we are, back in the force field room, or engine room, or whatever. A lot of purple. Actually, it must be where the Tholians come from or something. This is the anomaly that's in the wall. What the heck is it? They can live for a very long time, these Tholians. <gasps> they can transfer their consciousness. So they return new, younger form. Even bigger than that, with the Hamalki, they self-generate, allowing them to control their population. The Tholians, the crystals are made so anyone can do it. That would lead to possible population overpressure. They solved this socially? How? Ah, only Tholians who are high rank can do it. Admiral Alkeen. It's little wonder the Tholians responded to the resonance from this crystal with such enthusiasm. He was as close to a pro federation as a Tholian gets. Let's try and find some Ferengi? Oh, I have a Ferengi. Kraz. Pfeiffer's crews fixed their karma ray and reported in. Just don't keep him waiting. Let's teleport from his engineering deck into the main deck. What do you think of this story so far? Made by a person, no doubt. I feel like it could be used as somebody's story as like a proper mission in the game. Nothing's broken yet. A lot of the time your pals get stuck in dories and stuff. For this mission, no issues. We gotta go to the war pipe point. Port to the row one cankery system to be of a Ferengi trader who will represent the interests of the Tholian assembly. Let's go. Scanners indicate the presence of a Klingon ship, sir. Pretty far away from the front lines. I don't know how she got here so quickly. We better be on our guard. Let's go. At the speed of light. Or a little bit faster. Ooh, we dropped out of warp. Hey. It's a paragraph C. Plenty of attention for your di discovery. The first of Tholians, then your Admiral, and us Klingon gentlemen here. My name is Kren. Kren of the Fencer. One of the valuable resource of the Tholians. One we should eliminate. Oh dear. Destroy the cast. I say destroy the castle. Destroying the crystal would be tantamount to an assassination. Where is the honor? His honor died many years ago. No one a criminal in my eye. Excuse me, I was commissioned by elements of the assembly to bring back the good admiral at any reasonable cost. Unless you make me a better offer than the Tholians, I can't support your course of action. I feel like maybe... I want the Tholians to be our friends, so I'll pass it over. I have to collect your payment. I too would hand the Admiral over, but Grand Nags Rum says that we need to honour all our contracts, not just the ones with Ferengi. Ha 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 ha, good show, Captain Slick. I'll remember that when I deal with you. You're making a grave error, no matter what this Ferengi says to the Tholians. You'll regret your decision today. Okay, see ya. <gasps> it is Wells! The USS Drake Gumru? Jesus. I got no... No Welsh in me. Apart from being in Wales. Excellent. The Drake Goch Cymru. Captain, we just watched Silk warped out. Didn't want to interrupt the negotiations. The Red Dragon here tends to be a bit overpowering. Red Dragon? That's what it is. Goch. Red. Drag. Dragon. Cymru. Wales. Excellent. That's cool. This story has gone better than I ever hoped. Here we are. I wish they all had Welsh accents. I wish you could put voices into this. That'd be cool. One do it. This guy, the person who made this from North Wales. Just so that I need know. Friend. Decision with Admiral McKean. Returned to the Tholian thingy. Ah, good friends. 
Personally impressed with the decision to send Alkeen back to the assembly. So that's why you had to remember your choices from before, so you could do them again here. So, not too advanced. It'd be nice if they were on our side, sir. Pathfinder 16 gives you a report on Rogue Geminorum 3. It was almost cut cleanly in half of temporal anomaly generated within the system. A Tholian device used for an unknown purpose. Oh, it's one of the effects. Well, the Klingons say, as they usually do, wab for jab. It's a story about the unintended consequences of other races meddling with time. Oh, time. Krenn disappeared shortly after the second Babel conference. The odd readings we were getting was the dumping field was good, but a D5 class cruiser, at least 240 years old, most likely the fencer. Man. Sounds like our next mission. Oh, the mission's done. That's it. I can give a tip. I'm giving a tip. Oh, fantastic. Little mission by Dougal and Dower. I love him. Doug Glendower, I think. Doug Glendower. Yeah, Doug Glendower. So that was 404 error. Admiral not found. Let me know what you think of the story. We'll continue on. We're basically keeping these things in the history books because they'll just not exist anymore and the time and effort made to make them will just go. Because it's not the kind of thing you can make in like one or two hours, like this little video. No, this is the kind of thing that would take maybe a few days, maybe weeks of planning. If you enjoyed the video, as usual, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Check out the other videos, probably on this playlist. They're all Star Trek related. I got a bunch of guides. There'll be more missions like this, maybe? That's it from me. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. Bye! I just stuck my hand up to say bye, but I haven't got my camera on.